Hello, Alexandra. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. Uh, he sent your website over to me for analysis, so I won't waste another second of your time. Uh, you have a beautiful website, no doubt about it. You have the essentially two different areas. You have the residential, you have the commercial, um, and uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's interactive. It's got a lot of information, not only about your founder, Rain, but uh, I, I just learned so many things about the company uh, by going through this. Now, um, I'm, I'm not really interested in the aesthetic aspect of it because a, a, a beautiful website is something that is like a beautiful car. If you pull up next to somebody and you say, hop in, they're going to go, okay, I'll do that. I'm, and it's the same thing here. Okay, I'll, I'll click about us. I'll click residential, sort of how I went into it. Now, what, um, what I am interested in is sort of the mechanics of it. Because what is in your website will actually determine how many people get to it. Let me explain what I'm talking about. When I do an analysis, the first thing I do is I look at this, Ahrefs. It is a paid tool that I use to uh, analyze websites. The second thing I do is I go and I type in a search like this one, the best roofer in Bryan, Texas. Now, at this point, I need to explain a little bit about how Google works. Google has an algorithm that determines the placement of absolutely everything that shows up in the search results. Now, the first thing that you're going to come across is uh, the paid ones. They call it sponsored for some reason. Um, and then after that, there's going to be a variety of uh, different like lists, Home Advisor, Better Business Bureau, that sort of thing. Now we get to the map pack. These are companies that have done something that um, other companies have not done, and that is fill out a Google business profile. Now, uh, for Brian, Texas, all of them, they have filled out a Google business profile, and that has put them here in the map pack, which is relatively near the top. And in fact, they are, with the exception of these paid ones, the first uh, roofers to appear in a Google search. Now, uh, being a, give, filling out a, a Google business profile is, is not like rocket science or anything. You, you could do it. Um, but the goal is to get here in the map pack because you want to be as high up uh, in the search results as you can. Now, uh, uh, you know, doing it correctly, doing it with the amount of thoroughness that Google requires, that might be something that you could use some help with. But, you know, if you want to try it yourself, by all means, take a stab. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you is underneath the map pack, we have what we call the um, organic search results. And those are also... Uh, uh, the result of the Google algorithm. Now, the Google algorithm wants a certain number of requirements satisfied. And uh, we know what those requirements are. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about now. Um, now, uh, the first thing that uh, will determine your placement is in a Google search is the words. Google likes a, a site that has contents. So let me, for the sake of this um, uh, analysis, just use Schulte Roofing as a, uh, I'll call them your Google competitor because they are the number one. They come up first in these results for Brian, Texas. Um, oh, there you are, CR Systems. You're down there. Um, so let me uh, uh, go back up and look at your site. Now I'm going to do something. Now, you, uh, anyway, here we go. Select all, copy, and paste. Uh, there we go. I have something in there already. Paste. There we go. Um, you have 555 words. That's pretty good. Here we go with Schulte. I'm going to do the same. Copy and paste into this. They have 641 words. So when it comes down to word count, they win. Because the algorithm is just a mathematical construct after all. So it is looking for the most. The most is the best as far as it is concerned. Now, um, I'm not going to tell you that you should uh, uh, just put a whole bunch of words in to make more words. No, uh, you want them to appear naturally, like in a paragraph. Uh, uh, but Google actually wants you to have 1,500 words. So you're about 1,000 words shy. 
And uh, doing that would propel you into an area that Google considers absolutely worthy of being high in their search results. Now, um, uh, 1,500 words sounds like a lot, but it is not, especially when you use the right words. And here's what the right words are. Right words are keywords. You guys have 221 keywords in your website. Now, keywords are words that Google expects you to have in your website based upon your location and based upon your industry. Google knows what words should be on your website because when you type this search into a Google, it looks at every single site that comes up as a result of that search. It strips all of the words from them. It counts all the words. And then it says, oh, these are the words that should be on websites in this category. Now, um, uh, you know, for better or worse, uh, uh, you know, Google thinks that the, the best uh, roofer is somebody who has the best website with the most words on it, but you and I would rather have a roofer probably with experience and, and uh, quality, you know, uh, uh, materials. So, you know, it, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you what you want to believe, I guess, in this world, right? So um, Schulte is number one. Let me uh, show you. Uh, you have 221 keywords on your website. Uh, they have 1,500. Again, they win in this little foot race that Google has set up. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about are backlinks. You have 69 backlinks on your website, uh, or uh, excuse me, on other websites. Uh, a backlink is where you, there is a link to your site, a link back to your site on their website. That would be, you know, sites like Yelp or yellowpages.com, that sort of thing. Now, <clears throat> you have 69. And Schulte has 5,800. Now, this comes down to the algorithm thinking that the more you're talked about, the more important you are. Sort of like, you know, uh, um, shallow people. You know, oh, if everyone's talking about him, he must be famous. That's what the Google algorithm is like. And uh, so now beating 5,800 uh, backlinks, it seems like a daunting task, but it's not because not all of the backlinks that they're on are worth that much. Now, look, they are on a, a bunch of them here in the 90s, and that's what you want. You want to have a bunch. These are a scale from 1 to 100, and the domain rating is essentially a uh, – it shows the strength of a domain's backlink profile. Now, uh, a backlink profile means that a lot of other sites refer to them. So, for instance, um, say uh, Wikipedia has a whole lot of sites that refer to it, and it is rated at like 98. Now, these are pretty good rated sites, um, and it looks like a bunch of them were acquired because they were looking for a way to get on, uh, get their own website uh, recently, because Code Canyon or um, those are all like uh, website creation sites. But here we have homestead.com, oh, there's Wikipedia. Um, yellow pages, uh, super pages. Um, anyway, there's a bunch of them that are ones that you, today's homeowner, things that you would expect to be on there. You want to be on any site that is rated, say, 70 and above. I don't see Angie's List, for instance. I don't see Yelp. Those are ones that could be really useful because they are highly rated. Now, um, uh, the next thing I'm going to show you is what this all really means. Your backlinks and your keywords determine your placement in a Google search. Now, as a result, you had from a Google search 197 clicks last month. That's down 15 from the month before. Now, uh, the value of each of those clicks was about $478. That's according to this paid tool I have. In other words, uh, a, a number of these turned into uh, request for estimates and turned into customers and turned into business. Let me show you what Schulte had. Let's do that now. Come on, click. Oh my, where did it go? Come on, baby. I'm going to have to go back to their overview here. Schulte Roofing. There we go. Their traffic last month was 991. So, um, you can see that that is the difference between, you know, they, they had essentially nine times more opportunity to uh, get an estimate request, to get a, a, an actual customer. 
and they consider that this value per click is about three thousand eight hundred dollars so you see it's quite a jump in the in the uh, uh value of each click now uh that all is absolutely due to their placement in this google search um and uh i'm gonna assume that uh, you would like to be higher in the search and if that's the case then this is an opportunity for Eric to help you out because I am certain that you would probably rather spend your time roofing and dealing with the uh, uh, stuff that's needed to get roofs on in both residential and, and uh, commercial area than you do digging around in the belly of your website. So that being the case, uh, Eric would be happy to guide you through the next steps. Uh, thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.